What's up, Go Magazine? It's Sarah Croce here. I'm at Glad Summer Rooftop event here in Manhattan, um, hosted by Bethany Frankel. So that, so that was your first gay pride parade, right? That was my first and not my last gay pride parade. Good. Tell me what you thought of it. Um, I thought it was hilarious and fun, and it was just freedom. Yeah. Everyone was just so animated and having such a great time and cheering, and it was amazing. Tell me about your connection with Glad. How does that impact your life? Um, they asked me to host this evening, and I've gotten involved in a lot of different gay charities because I'm a person who definitely is about being honest about exactly who I am. So tell me what kind of projects you have in the works. I have a single called Dirty Love I'm going to release in the fall. It's really fun. It sounds a lot like Depeche Mode. People don't expect me to be a singer, but I guarantee you people will be impressed and they will shake their booties to it. Um, I have a book coming out with Gallery Books in the winter. Uh, it's kind of my 25-year memoirs of my life and how I came to be who I am. I'm sure you've gotten a lot of negativity. Tell me about the positivity. You know, GLAD especially has had my back so many times and on so many occasions when people were talking badly about me or, or you know, dissing me very publicly. And, and they always had my back. They always supported me. It's just, it's been beautiful, the outpouring of love, but not only from the LGBT community, but from, from everyone. Since the Olympics, people really admired what I was able to do on the ice and, and support me in everything I do, so it's beautiful. I overheard you guys talking about LGBT issues and like I love your support of it. Thank you so much for being here. It means so much to have people like you know, that. It's important. I mean, I, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but until until it's just not an issue. Exactly. It's Thank you. I was going to say the same thing. You know, the words LGBT and issues should belong in the same sentence and one day, exactly. hopefully in, in your lifetime, if not mine, it will happen. a little bit about how um, GLAD impacts your life. I think GLAD is such a, a great organization. You know, it's, it's kind of like, it's leading towards a, a movement where where marriage equality is going to be something that, that's going to be history. It, it, we need, we just need to be equal. We're all the same people. We're, we all believe the same way and we all deserve to love. And that's why I love GLAD. Great. It's giving it, girl. It's fierce. Absolutely. Well, you're definitely part of the movement. Thank, Thank you so you. much. What fashion tips do you have for lesbians who have a little bit of a handicap when it comes to dressing? Listen to your gay boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I love how lesbians dress because I, there's something sexier than a woman in men's clothes. But clearly, <laughs> lesbians have a style that surpasses gay men. <laughs> What, yes, you're absolutely what, right. What have you learned from us thus far? <laughs> how to do my hair, okay. how to dig and look good, um, how to carry things and look even better. All right. You were in an amazing movie called Flix Chicks. Thank you. Tell me about what you've been doing. Um, well, I completed a film called When Harry Tries to Marry, which will be released in the fall. And I'm working on my own projects, so Reality Check is a new film I'm producing and acting in as well. You have a lot of prestige, and just showing up for things like that means a whole lot to our community. Thank you. Um, I overheard you say that your sister's gay? She is my biggest fan ever. I think that she has more posts and more email blasts going out about you know my platform and my success with Miss New York than I even do. Because I've been working on something really fabulous and spectacular. Um, it's this cooking show. I think you guys are going to be so happy finally. And um, you know, it's a music driven cooking show. How can you go wrong with that? What a great combination, right? Hey ladies, thank you for joining me on the red carpet. As always, we talked some great drag queens, some amazing designers, some really hot women. I'm going to go talk some more hot women upstairs. Thank you for watching Go Magazine.